Hey everybody, today we have a Buick Verano uh, 2016. We're doing rear shocks on it. So first thing you do is you wanna take the tires off to make it a little bit easier for you. Then you wanna put a jiggle jack underneath the rear axle because this has coil spring suspension. So when you take the shock off, this could droop down far enough to where the spring could come out. So then I do it one side at a time. So there is a 21 millimeter nut here. There is two 18 millimeter nuts here. Let me get these bolts actually, excuse me, bolts. Let me get it all apart and I'll show you a special tool that I have that nobody else has. All right, so these two are 18 millimeter and it's gonna put out a lot of dust and dirt. So there's one. There's two. Now we change over to a 19 millimeter. And now we're gonna come in here and we're gonna get this one right here. So once we, once we get that one out, the shock will just drop down. That's a whole lot of dirt. Yeah, see all the dirt that's in there? So we gotta clean all that out. Um, let's come over to the trash can. And look how bad that nut is. So we gotta get that apart and I'll show you that in a second. Let me get set up in the back room. Okay, since this is the old shock, I have it trapped in the vise because we are no longer using this shock. Now you don't wanna take and scratch this on the new shock because you'll destroy the seal. So I have this in here and I have it tight. That's in pretty bad shape, but I think we can probably just take the uh, 15 millimeter socket on the impact wrench and we'll go ahead and get on there and that comes right apart. All right, so now we have this apart. Let me go get the new shock and set it up and I'll show you the special tool I'm talking about. All right, so I have the shock with my soft jaws in the vise just barely hold, holding on as you can see. So here's the problem that we have this is threaded and it's got like a double D at the top. So now this is the adapter that goes onto the car, goes on like that, sorry. And then comes the nut, you put the nut on. Get the nut started. Well, this nut doesn't want to start. I'm gonna to have to get a wrench to get this nut started, I think because it's up too high it should thread down to the thread but it's not doing it so let me get these let me get this so this will thread down on there and i'll be right back okay now that i have the nut threaded down as far as we'll go this nut is actually crimped at the top as as a lock so if i was to put a 15 millimeter socket on here and just try to tighten this the whole shaft spins all right so you don't want that to happen so i happen to have this specialty tool that has two open nuts. So we have to figure out which nut fits the best. That seemed to fit the best. And I already know that this is the double D socket that fits on here. And that will fit on there and drop, drop down. So now all you have to do is I usually put a ratcheting wrench on here also, like so, and like so. And now, you can ratchet this down and hold the shaft at the same time. I have no idea who makes this tool. This tool I got 30 years ago for one of the tool guys. I do believe it says USA on it and a part number, but I have not been able to find who makes this tool. Let me pull this back off for a second. Let me see if I can read it. It says, it is a KD. That's who I thought it was. It's a KD. And there is a part number. I'll put that down in the link in the description. But um, I have not been able to find another one of these tools. This tool was really good for when we were doing shocks on cars. You could put this on there and get the nut off without bu busting the, the shock. All right, everybody. Well, let me get this job finished up. So I just wanted to show you this, this special shock, hold, shock top holding tool. And I need both hands to tighten that up. And then to put the shock back in, it's real simple. You put the two bolts here and here and here and let the jiggle jack down and you're done. So just a real quick one, but I wanted to show you this cool tool by KD that they no longer make. All right, everybody. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe. You can always do that in that corner. Please give me a thumbs up if you like my automotive videos.